Carl marks two years since the brutal killing of a woman and her dog in Atlanta's most famous park. It happened at Piedmont Park in the middle of the night, an unsolved case that still has the community rattled. But tomorrow we could get new answers about the case. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Sean Gables and I'm Rick Fulbaum. Atlanta News first reporter Chelsea Vinefor is live tonight outside of Piedmont Park. And Chelsea, you spoke with people there tonight who remember this case very clearly. I did, and this case shook them and shook the Midtown community to their core two years ago. Katie Janess and her dog were found stabbed to death through those gates in the middle of Piedmont Park in the middle of the night almost two years ago. I think it's beautiful that there's something here to remind us of her and her pet. Inside the Piedmont Park Dog Park, there's a bench dedicated to Katie Janess and her dog Bowie. It's a place Addie Carpenter likes to bring her own dog during the day. I don't feel comfortable walking around the park by myself at night and um, even if it's even if my husband's with me still, we don't. Yeah. do that very often. We try to like go around it or avoid it. Carpenter says Janessa's murder has made her think twice about her own safety at Piedmont Park. I remember it honestly flip-flopping Atlanta on its head. Atlanta police say Janessa was stabbed more than 50 times and the word fat was carved into her skin. Her partner Emma Clark is the one who found Janessa's body after pinging her phone when she says Janessa didn't answer several text messages. You know the fact that it's still not solved you know that's pretty crazy for it to be two years almost. Eddie Garcia remembers when it happened too. He says it's hard to believe how much time has passed without answers. I just wish, you know, the family and, you know, her friends to, you know, find, you know, some type of peace, you know, or justice for it. Atlanta police have not publicly named any suspects or released many details over the last two years. But Carpenter wants people to continue thinking about Katie Janess until the case is solved. The biggest thing that I remember is driving by the park and seeing all like the like memorials that were laid out for her. Um, that was really impactful. Um, she obviously made a big impact on her community. And Atlanta police did not comment on the case tonight, but they are holding a press conference tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. and our cameras will be there. Reporting live in Piedmont Park, Chelsea Vine 4, Atlanta News First.